Thanks for being here too. Um, I'm sure there are a lot of questions, and we'll, we'll I'll take one question just by myself, and then there are a number of cast and crew who worked on the film who I'd like to have up here to recognize and to be with me for the next question. So I see a hand way in the back on the left-hand side, uh, halfway up, a, a woman, I think. Hi. Yes, Hi. you. <coughs> please stand up. Tell me, what, what did you get out of the movie, and what's your question, please? Uh, <coughs> Thank you very much. So her question, just in case you didn't hear it anywhere, is what plans have we made to take the film out and how are we doing that? I have a nonprofit organization, the Veggie Van organization, um, and the plan is that the film will go with me and a group of people who are involved in the film on a 50 city tour this year in 2008. The film will go to both the Democratic and the Republican national conventions. We'll screen a photo. And the purpose of the tour is to bring the film and an educational component to schools across the country so that this turns into an educational curriculum so that we get biodiesel into school buses. And the final end product of our, of our year is a green energy document that will be presented to both political candidates. They'll both have the opportunity to sign it and to commit. So that's the process we're going through. your question. I want to invite the crew who work on Fields of Fuel and who worked on Fields of Fuel to come up to the stage. This is uh, walking up now is Johnny O'Hara, the writer of the film. Yeah. Greg Reitman, the producer of the picture. Darius Fisher, Todd Sally, co-producers, online editors. Sarah Rose Bergman, here in the pink sweater, one of our editors. Rebecca Harrell, my fiance, the marketing director of the movie. James Paul Ryan, still shooting. <laughs> director of photography. Kevin Vickery, our communications director. Do we have any cast as well? My mom. My mom. <laughs> Yay. Thank you guys for coming up. So, you know, it, it is a big <coughs> deal to have a film in Sundance, and it's a, it's a big deal for a team of people. It's a it's a big deal. People go, wow, you directed the movie. And it's more of a, a privilege and an honor than a position. I have had the privilege and honor for the past 10 years of working on this film. And the privilege has largely been with the family of people who have stood by the film and stood by the concepts and believed in this picture. So thank you guys very much. time, unfortunately. I'd love to spend time with each and every one of you, but I would like to hear from at least two more of you. Um, there's, a, there's a gentleman here. Yes, please, would you stand up? What did you get out of the movie, and what's your question, please? Yeah, um, I really appreciated your effort, but um, I, as a comment, I would say that um, as an educational tool, I, I would have valued more explanations of what B20, B through B100, what that is and what the difference is. This week, Europe announced that they're cutting a lot of the subsidies for <coughs> biofuels mm -hmm. um, because of the varying production methods and just kind of discerning what waste-based biofuel is versus soy and the fact that now the genetically modified food companies want in on the picture. Soy is really water intensive and <coughs> there's so many things that you can put in the film, but I'd like to throw that out there. And also to the residents of Louisiana um, to, I don't know if you are aware of this, but there's a lot of a really amazing innovation with micro-remediation, which is using mushrooms to detoxify the earth, and um, especially with oil, with tea, like oyster mushrooms. So 
If you're not aware of it, I would encourage you to check out Paul Stamets and his work at Fung Fungi Perfecti. Great, thank you very much for your coming. And uh, just, just FYI, one of the nonprofit organizations we work with on this film is Matter of Trust. They do a lot of work with oil remediation and our work in Louisiana continues through them. And so, you know, the educational cut of the movie will be different than this cut. This is specifically made for theatrical viewing. It's a very fast-paced cut. The educational cut is made for schools. And it has a lot more information, and it will be available to the public, of course. And there's layers and layers and layers of information that go on the website to support this. So I take your comments to heart. Thank you very much for them. And, and of course, we are committed that the educational component is very thorough. And ultimately, this is going to be a, a movement that takes and looks at where can we produce fuel where no food is concerned, like from the algae. I think that's really where the future is going. So thank you so much. Thank you. And I see someone standing with enthusiasm back here. <laughs> yes, please. What did you get out of the movie, and what's your question, please? Great question. How old are you? I'm only nine. <laughs> nine years old. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So uh, what's the other ingredients for biodiesel specifically? We use vegetable oil. It's about 90% vegetable oil, 10% methanol, which can be made from sewage. It's an alcohol. And a very small percentage of lye, LYE, which is the catalyst less than half of 1%, <coughs> which is wood ash. So it's all natural ingredients, and the byproducts are glycerin, which we <coughs> use in so many products, and biodiesel, which we can use in so many things. So that's the, all the questions we have time for today. Thank you so much. Before you leave the theater, I'm going to encourage you, everybody should have gotten a ballot today. Oh, we're not doing the table. We're done with voting. Well... You know what? You can vote in other ways. <laughs> Spread the word about the film. Tell people to see it. Get on the internet. Write great things about it. And let's teach America to become sustainable. Thank you so much. <laughs>